Cat. It's Maximus here. This review is more just about professional grade anti static electronic work mats and not so much about particularly Radio Shack, although Radio Shack at one point did sell genuine conductive vinyl work mats. And what made these separate from, say, just a standard little cheap wrist straps that you like maybe clip onto the edge of a computer case or a stereo receiver you're working on, is this is general use. This is both grounding your wrist as well as the work surface. And so it's actually a pretty handy little setup. And really in these modern days when people are working on cell phones or even more modern computer stuff, memory chips, that kind of thing, uh, it's kind of nice to have one of these. And if you're somebody who does open up electronics it's just a uh, more of a peace of mind that you have a nice work surface and then you know proper grade hardware to go ahead and ground yourself and they just set up for electronics because the way this works is we have a snap and this is a can I don't I believe that it is the vinyl has carbon or something mixed in it into it so it's electrostatically conductive and it just has a metal uh, button that's been pinched through it and then they do put some nice embroidery on. It's pretty heavy vinyl, so any decent one that you're going to get, uh, it's going to be probably a half a pound for any uh, decent mat, just for the mat by itself. And we can see that it is decent because it is a reinforced mat. It isn't just a plain piece of vinyl, so definitely uh, at least this item was pretty nice. The wrist strap is actually a pretty uh, decent wrist strap with just a fold-over clasp, and you just put this on your hand. And then the button it just has a big metal panel, so it's really con contacting you very well. Then you have the little snap that snaps to it. What this would do is actually plug into this. We have two banana plugs here, and so this would plug into this. It's also nice that they include a second one, so if you're on an electronics workstation, you say have a benchtop power supply or an oscilloscope, it allows you to even out your ground level with that as well. And then, of course, it has a snap on the back you connect right to the mat itself. The other end of this wire happens to be about 12 feet long. If we unfurl it, we can see that it has a plug that kind of looks like a banana plug, but it's not. This is actually the shape like a normal uh, ground lug on any power cord. And so what this is designed to do is actually just on your wall outlet or wherever you have, you can just put that right into the ground socket and it plugs it right in, giving you grounding. And of course, any decent kit like this would also include uh, a regular alligator clip that you can slip over just to clamp onto anything. Let's unfurl this here. These are pretty big, which is always stack those right on top of those chips. These things are, have always been a pretty decent size, and this Radio Shack one was no exception. Had to zoom way out. Another thing that shows you a, a more intelligently designed mat is that this one actually has just a couple of pockets so that it's convenient for you just to put some general tools and screwdrivers that type of thing and they're stored right in the mat and you can fold it over and just roll it up if you want to and I always thought that's kind of nice so slightly cheaper ones won't have these pockets and you can see that's actually a pretty large work mat this one happens to be a two foot by two foot it's a little bit different it's a 23 by 25 but it's a huge work area more than large enough to actually set just a full-size tower computer on stereo equipment receivers and so you always want to get a decent size one and then with the proper cable set up you know if you have a decent one we'll have for the wrist, wrist strap we'll have a coiled wire so it isn't always getting in your way and then uh, the mat cable will obviously be compatible with uh, any number of ways of being able to ground it out that way everything you're working with both yourself and the surface is all evenly grounded and it isn't just real so all so much grounding you to the earth as evening the ground level of whatever chips that you happen to be working on and your body it's that difference in potential between the chip or the piece of electronics and whatever uh, static charge you have built up on yourself is where the real danger happens and if there is an issue when you have a, a large conductive surface if you do have a static discharge when you're setting it down it instead of it being like a zap on a single point it would be more evenly distributed and being less likely to cause damage 
Anyway, that was a short review of an, uh, more of a professional electrostatic uh, work mat. And I call these this grade actually the professional ones because you hardly ever see these types of work mats. It seems strange. All sorts of YouTubers doing electronic work and uh, computer shops. And you would think these things would be uh, standardized. They are a little expensive. A cheap one would set you back 20 bucks. Nicer ones are going to be in the $30 range or so. Um, but I certainly recommend it if you're somebody who works on electronics often and you don't uh, have one of these and maybe haven't heard of one or didn't really know what they were. They aren't just so much to prevent you from scratching the desk. They would prevent you from uh, zapping electronics. And this is the proper way to do it by having your body and the work surface all connected together in a single electrical circuit. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.